Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in today. I'm Steve Firmus, Beam Global Alliance's Solution Architect. One of my responsibilities is architecting joint solutions with some of our Storage Alliance partners, such as Infinet. I'm joined here today by my good friend, Joe Roa. So Joe, before we get started, can you tell us a little bit about yourself in Infinidat? Sure. My name is Joe Rowe. I'm a solutions architect for Infinidat, focused primarily on NAS and data protection products and integrations. Infinidat helps customers empower data-driven competitive advantage at multi-petabyte scale. Our software-focused storage architecture solves the conflicting requirements of scalability, performance, reliability, and cost. See, Infinidat simultaneously delivers sub-millisecond latency, 100% availability, and multi-petabyte capacity with a significantly lower total cost of ownership when compared to other enterprise class storage technologies. In fact, this is really the technology difference that also drives a significant advantage to using our InfiniGuard product, our purpose-built backup appliance that many of our mutual customers are using today to replace their data domains as backup targets behind their backup software in the field today. I'm very happy to be here, Steve. Thanks for having me. The pleasure is all ours, Joe. Appreciate you for joining us today. Today, we're going to talk about Infinidat storage integration with Veeam. With more and more businesses looking to their storage solutions to deliver more predictable performance across demanding workloads, it goes without saying that this increases the requirements around RTOs, RPOs, and SLAs. Would you agree, Joe? Oh, absolutely. Not long ago, industry experts were telling us that terabytes are the new gigabytes. The fact remains that the data created each year just keeps on growing, and other vendors really haven't found a way to improve on performance or reliability at a large scale while also reducing the total cost of ownership. In my experience, every C-level executive understands that this is just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface is this massive complex data that must always be available to power their business. Completely agree, Joe. And this is a great example why Veeam has addressed those challenges in partnership with Infinidat using our Universal Storage API technology. Our Universal Storage API gives us the ability to integrate with storage systems like Infinidat's Infinibox to help decrease the impact on the production environment and significantly improve RPOs as a result. It also unlocks the ability to reduce the impact of performance on the VMware host when it comes to creating snapshots. Right. To be able to use incremental forever level backups with change block tracking over the VMware storage API, a VM snapshot is required. And unfortunately, VM snapshots come with some drawbacks. As all the changes are written to the snapshot and they must be committed to the primary storage when that snapshot is deleted. This leads customers down a path of heavy storage burdens during snapshot deletion process, causing VM performance issues while that snapshot deletion just seems to take forever. Correct. And together with Veeam's unique agentless application where backup engine, we're creating storage snapshots directly after the VMware snapshot to preserve the consistent state within it. After the Infinibox snapshot is created, Veeam will release the VMware VM snapshot immediately. As the sna storage snapshot can be deleted without any overhead, there'll be no negative effects on the VMs. And Veeam can then use VMware's CBT to read directly from the storage snapshot. Right, which is great when addressing the backup case. Probably just as important, if not more important, is how we recover those snapshots from the backups with the use of Veeam Explorer for storage snapshots. This gives our Infinidad customers the ability to use the Veeam Explorer for storage snapshots, or VESS as Veeam refers to it, to gain visibility into historic snapshots while also giving the ability to perform granular recovery tasks against snapshots that may not even have been created by Veeam on the Infinibox. This is a great feature, Joe. We can perform these granular restores because they are powered by our instant VMware recovery tool. In addition to restoring individual guest files, we can restore applications like Exchange, SharePoint, Active Directory, SQL, and Oracle databases directly from Infinibox snapshots. We also have some enhancements with our previous 9.5.4 release around secure and stage restore, which is great for addressing how Veeam protects end users against malware 
and how we can directly run selected VMs from the backup file in the isolated Veeam data lab prior to restoring the VM in production. Great, and I think we're gonna get into some of those enhancements later in the video. Altogether, these are some great capabilities within our two products. An easy to use interface for our customers that pairs nicely with the InfiniBox for a tightly integrated data protection for ever expanding data management needs. Agreed. And speaking of an easy to use interface, today we will walk you through how easy it is to set up InfiniBox storage integration with Veeam Backup and Replication version 10. So let's go ahead and dive into the GUI, shall we? Oh, absolutely, fire away. So this is the plugin that will allow Veeam to manage snapshots. There we go. The plugin has been installed. Now I'll open the Veeam Backup and Replication Console. Now into the storage infrastructure tab, we'll click here. And we're gonna add some storage. This is where we will point Veeam to the InfiniBox that we're going to use. So on the main screen, we're gonna hit show more vendors. And here we have the InfiniDat InfiniBox. Now I will put in the name of the InfiniBox. Pretty original name. And we'll continue. Now for the credentials, I'm going to add the administrator account that I use to access the machine. And I'll continue. I'm going to use the default protocols. We're going to automatically scan. Same thing with the uh, proxies. Now if I had multiple proxies in my environment, I could choose one. Um, in this case, I have one, so I'm just going to go with the default. And this is the mount server. And again, in this case, if I had multiples, I could choose, but I'm going to keep it the, uh, the backup server. Everything's completed. And you can see here, it found my InfiniBox. And we're ready to go. And we're going to keep this default, run the storage infrastructure rescan. So this will go out and find our volume source. So now you can see under the storage infrastructure, I now see the InfiniDat and InfiniBox. I now see the name of the box, and under that, I see my volume. Now, what I can do here is I could go in and I can manually create a snapshot. And what I also have is over here, I have the InfiniBox GUI, and I can see there's my volume one, and you can see there are no snapshots. So if I go within Veeam and I say, manually create me a snapshot. So we'll see within Veeam, we're going through and getting the information. You'll see here within InfiniBox, you're seeing that, you know, it's seen us, it's going, it's created the snapshot. Now the snapshot's created. Now if I go into Veeam, now I can see the snapshot. I can see the snapshot of a virtual machine that I have on that volume. And again, if I go into the InfiniBox interface, I will now see the snapshot.
Okay, so now let's set up a backup job to do a backup off of the snapshot. So I'm going to go to backup jobs. I'm going to create a virtual machine backup. I'm going to call this snapshot backup one. Now I'm going to choose the virtual machine or virtual machines that are on that one. And I know that it is iBox VM1. I'm going to, let's say, create uh, three snapshots. Now here, if we had um, an application running that virtual machine like Microsoft Exchange or SQL Server, I would check this box, but we don't, so we'll just continue. This is where I could schedule it, but again, I'm not going to schedule. I'm just going to do a quick backup, and I'm going to initiate that by clicking on the run the job when I finish. And we should see a backup job starting. Here we go. And here is the snapshot job running. So there you can see it created the snapshot on our primary storage. It's done that fast. And actually, if you come under here and look at the details, you'll see this saying that the VM snapshot was skipped. And that's because we're not doing any of that application aware processing and VMware tools isn't on that machine. So now if I go to snapshots, I will now see there are two snapshots under this. Again, one of them was the um, snapshot that we did manually, and the other one was the snapshot that we did just now. And I'll go to the Infinidat GUI, and we should now see two snapshots. There's our manual one, and I'll refresh. And now we see this is the snapshot we just created. We'll go back to the Veeam interface. And again, we will see here. Now from here, I can restore, again, individual files, applications, or I could do an instant VM recovery right off of that snapshot. And the same thing at this level. Now, if I go into the storage infrastructure, I'll see more details. I'll see here, again, the infinity box, the actual name of the box, the volume, and now we will see our two snapshots. So let's say I want to get rid of this manual one now. I'll hit my delete snapshot. And now you will see within the infinity box GUI, You'll see the connection and you will see the activity taking place. And I'll refresh. And our snapshot's gone. So that's what I have for the demo. Back to the discussion. Wow, that's great. And thanks for giving our customers a view of the new Veeam features. They really complement the joint value proposition with InfiniBox. I know that Veeam development has been hard at work on the V10 release, and personally, I'm very impressed to see these enhancements. Not a problem, Joe, and thank you for stopping by today. And to all of our customers and partners, InfiniNet and Veeam want to thank you for watching this video. Be sure to visit veeam.com and for the latest and greatest announcements on our partnership. Thanks again, and have a great day. Thank you.